If Jack in the Box and Panda Express made a baby, how would it taste? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And it's also a beautiful morning for some menu merging. Uh -huh. And this edition is gonna get more chaotic than ever. But it's been a hot minute since we did one of these, so as a refresher, we're gonna be smashing together items from the Jack in the Box menu and the Panda Express menu into one big Jack in the Panda food extravaganza. And uh, the Jack in the Box menu is already really eclectic. They have egg rolls. Oh yeah. And it doesn't make any sense, but. Who cares? I do love them. Yes. Dipped in ranch. So why not go all the way with a Panda Express merge? Oh, no reason not to. It's time for Menu Mashup, Jack in the Box and Panda Express Edition. All right, in each round we're gonna try a Jack in the Box forward mashup dish with Panda Express injected into it. Yeah. And also the reverse. Right. Jack in the box dish, I said that twice, well, but you know well, what know I mean. What you mean. And well, we're gonna choose the one that we think should go on the Jack in the Panda menu. Right. Uh, only one can go. Because each round. that is what the restaurant will be called. Yeah. It when is. we open it. Or well, I don't think we have that power, but Trevor, when someone does. What are these, dude? Uh so that Jack in the Box on Rhett's side is uh honey walnut shrimp onion rings. So what? Took a couple of onion rings and then we put shrimp in between them and then we fried it and then there's a honey walnut sauce with some walnuts on top. So it's Let's just like a bunch of shrimp inside there? Yeah. And an onion. Yeah, two. Oh my. How'd you get a shrimp that was a ring? Well, we blended it and then put it in there. Ooh, I don't so want to think so about So that blending doesn't exist in the wild. There's no. not a shrimp that has turned on itself. Shrimp are already curved, though. Well, well, yeah, but they're not big enough. <laughs> I've seen some pretty big shrimp. We couldn't get those ones. All right. I don't mm -hmm. know how you got a bunch of shrimp to look like one shrimp, but you did. Over here we've got egg rolls, which they have at Jack in the Box, but this is the Pan Express side. Yeah, this, so these are the Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger egg rolls. We took all the trappings of a Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger, minus the bun, and put it in an egg roll. So oh this is kind of like, they have, they have something like this at Cheesecake Factory. But it doesn't look like that on the inside. This looks like it's actually a layered cheeseburger in there, which is fun. Is there tomato peeking out of this? No tomato, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No to maybe. <laughs> That's my favorite way to respond to anything. No to maybe. That's pretty good though. They're both really tasty things. But this makes me think that maybe nature has done something new. Yeah, it's really strange, but I like it. It's something that we like. Uh-huh. I mean, look at this shrimp. Especially after eating more. Who would know That's ground up and reconstituted? Nobody would know. And that's the spirit of fast food anyway. We're picking this one to go on the menu. Trevor, what did you do? Uh, so that one on your side, Rhett, is the black pepper Angus steak jumbo jack. So we wok seared some sirloin steak with string beans, onions, red bell peppers, and mushrooms, and a savory black pepper sauce on a bun with the burger toppings. Wow, so it's got like a little bit of an Asian taste to a burger. I would say so. Hmm. Having a burger where like the meat pieces just fall off individually. That's what's is, happening to me. It is a challenge. Taste wise, I'm very, very pleased. That's some, ten that's some, that's some tender sirloin. I don't love it, but I have high hopes about orange chicken nuggets. What else is in this bowl, homie? Um, yeah, so Oops, are... drop my phone. Ah, oh, freak. Uh, so we have some <laughs> Jack in the Box chicken nuggets that have been coated in orange sauce, and then we made a fried rice that's not, there's no rice in it. It's just chopped up curly fries with the fried rice mix-ins. Oh, no it isn't. Chopped up yeah. curly fries with corn, peas, and carrots? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna eat one by itself, and then I'm going back in for rice and the thing. I'm, I'm going in all together. Oh, man. I mean, orange chicken nugget. It kind of tastes like just a really good piece of orange chicken. Definitely a win. Look at the inside of that Jack in the Box nugget, though. I gotta get it. I mean, on. that's so good. I mean, you'd think that was just powder. It's chicken powder. <coughs> but it's tender and juicy. It's so soft. <laughs> and you made it even juicier by putting some sauce on it. 
This round is hurting. I'm just gonna be honest. You don't like that? What's no. wrong with you, man? Because the nuggets. You having are, a bad day? The nuggets are not doing it for me, dude. I like both of these. <clears throat> I'm gonna vote for this one though, because it jumps off the menu. And it what? Jumps into your mouth. And it what? <clears throat> you can whisper it. It jacks in the panda. Okay, there we go. It's going on the menu. <laughs> Batting down the hatches for a meat explosion. Good gracious, look at this. We gotta start over here, Trevor. Wait, do, why? I don't even care. But look, look at this. You wanna follow this up with that. But it's, it's too late, I've already been like, look at this. But I'm not eating it first. Look at this. It's I'm a taco. It I'm eating it last. And what? what is it? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Tell me what this okay, is. Tell us so, about it, but I'm not gonna eat it first. Okay, so that's a chow mein taco. So what we've done is we've taken the chow mein from the Panda Express, and then we made it into a circle, and then deep fried it into a taco shell, and then we put the taco stuff inside it. You folded the circle over? Yeah, we did. And then on the inside? You got your beef, your lettuce, some hot don't sauce. Don't make that face. Okay. We'll come back to it and eat it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's got to be. I mean, look at it. It's, I mean, this is this is a breakfast burrito. Yeah, that's uh, the Beijing beef meat lovers breakfast burrito. You got scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, ham, Beijing beef chunks, red bell peppers, onions, and cheddar cheese, and some fire roasted salsa on the side. Fire roasted salsa, and that fire roasted salsa is just some salsa that they sell. Yeah. Hmm. It sounded like that might have should have been a yeah maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's very panda infused. But no panda in there at all, actually. I just really thought I'd be saying, well, it's a breakfast burrito, but the Beijing beef, it really, really is the, is the headline. And if you get some Beijing beef along with your pork sausage at the same time, mm -hmm. did you do that? Have you experienced that? Mm -hmm. That's a really nice little winning combination. Makes it really sweet. Um, I, I like it. I'm definitely digging it, but this is something real special. I am scared of this. I mean, this is the jungle you might not make yourself out of. Look at that thing. You get lost in a taco. Where'd it begin? What's it gonna sound like when we bite it? I'm gonna pull it apart. Oh, of course you are. So that I make sure that I get all of the good stuff in my first bite. Well, it's a little greasy. You still deep fried the whole thing? Yeah. Just like it. I can tell. House? I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Did you feel shame when you did that? Uh, yeah, for sure. It's good. scary looking, in a good way. Points for that. Oh, I got to do some deep fried lettuce. That was pretty nice. <laughs> Again, that's how they do it. They deep, they put everything in the taco and they I'm deep not fry. joking, I actually kind of like it. Um, I like this one better. It's totally crazy. <laughs> I think it's more unique and but I it, think it looks like something that if you do a commercial about that. It jumps off the menu. This is a novelty item. This is something that you, you eat this and you have to immediately text someone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you text your doctor, a relative your or cardiologist. potentially a doctor um, to tell them to, you know, you write home about it. That's, um, that's the new tech, that's the new write homing, homing about it. Writing home about it is texting. Writing homing about it. You're writing homing about it. I'm coming in doc. Okay, I, I still wanna eat this because I just like eating things. Okay, you just gonna go back to it and Here, grab it? I like, if you put something in front of me, I like to eat it. So we agree that this wormy taco monstrosity. We have to work on the, the verbiage that you're using, but we're putting it on the menu. Before we have dessert, you might have noticed that we've got some very, very nice looking travel mugs that we've been uh, sipping on. Yep. This is the official Flores Lava Mythical Travel Mug. Very cool, you gotta get yourself one of these. I mean, look, this has got the mythical M like a lava slide. It's the set has been taken over. I mean, there's Chase, there's me, there's Stevie, there's you, and there's Cotton Candy Randy, and then there's Josh. That's his hand, he's drowning in the lava. Sorry, Josh. This thing is stainless steel, You'll be 20 okay. ounces of pure travelness, and uh, it's got it's got a, a a straw that comes in it, but also you can open and close it if you want to have that non-spillable nature. Non-spillable it. nature. It's got a non-spillable nature. Mythical.com. Okay, Trevor. Okay. What are you trying to do to us now? Churros? Uh, over on your side, right, we got the cream cheese Rangoon churros. So those are churros that have been stuffed with cream cheese and crispy wonton pieces and then coated in cinnamon sugar. Ooh, Rangoon. Rangoon. No, no crab, though. 
No. Okay. Good. Why would we do that? Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. And then we got shakes over here. What makes it pandaized? Oh, so that's a fortune cookie milkshake. Uh, so okay. we've taken some milk and we've infused it with fortune cookies and then added some vanilla ice cream and blended it with that milk and more fortune cookies. And I think there's a little, little uh, treat in the straw for you. Oh. Oh, no, you didn't. Well, let's start over here and Rangoon it. Dink it. All right, and sink it. That's a lovely taste. I mean, a churro, when done exactly right, has like a gooey center. But it's, but it's better, never gooey it's enough. It's better, like I always think that about churros. I'm like, man, this had cream cheese inside of it. It'd be better. Good gosh, this is good. Good gracious, this is good, dude. That's decadent, man. This is amazing. I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Yeah. See, that's what you do, you save things. Hmm. I'm like a chipmunk. I just see that there's more and I'll get come to it later. All right, so how do we get, I can see that there's a fortune at the end of this. Do I just suck it out and like, read it in my esophagus? Yeah, suck away, man. It'll come out? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I just sucked the um, milkshake through it. Hmm. What if you did a pinch maneuver, maybe pinch it up. Oh. Pinch it up? Up, oh, yes. It pinches up? I'll oh, pinch it, it up. pinches up. All right, so let me see what this is. I've already tasted it a little bit and I have an opinion, but I'll hold. Take the writers to Chuck E. Cheese and you will find prosperity and happiness the rest of your days. <laughs> the writers wanna go to Chuck E. Cheese? Good fortune comes to those who give out their social security number on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Writers. Thought they were easy to please, but then they're just um, morally corrupt. Mm. <laughs> Let's taste it. Um, the taste is interesting because when I eat a fortune cookie, I often think to myself, this is one of the worst desserts that exists. <laughs> and you put a lot of it in this milkshake. Yeah. Almost to the point where it's just like eating soggy <clears throat> soggy uh, fortune cookies. Yeah, it's horrible. It oh. really is. I, I actually thought it could be great. I wanted it to be good. And then I tasted it and I was like, I was absolutely wrong. I was wrong to get my hopes up about this. I keep trying to make it good. It feels like I'm I'm like slurping paper mache. Like that's how thick with nasty, tasteless cookie it is. Um, it's yeah. just, I don't even wanna go back, but this, I'm gonna go back. I'm this is, this is this the one. best churro I've ever had. This was an easy one. This has to go on our menu. Strong words, but I completely agree. Churro Rangoon, man. Man, that's good. Put it on the menu. Our complete Jack and the Panda menu mashup consists of honey walnut shrimp onion rings. Boom. Orange chicken nugget bowl. Boom. Chow mein taco. Ooh. And cream cheese Rangoon churros. Oh, and let me tell you, you gotta try these. But I you, don't know how you, you're you gonna can. get it. You can. You gotta go. You won't be able to. to. Jack in the Panda. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that. Bell. You know what time it is. I'm Casey. I'm Ben. And this is Stevie. And we're from Wilmington, North Carolina. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. That's not Stevie. Oh, congratulations. She's right here. <laughs> Imposter. Wilmington. Click the top link to watch us melt our minds in good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Stop, drop, and roll on over to mythical.com for the new Flores Lava Travel Mug. Perfect for all your favorite liquids at hot lava temperatures.